Okay, this is exercise 4.4, capturing an image. We're working our way through lab 4, capturing a reference image found in Windows 7 configuration lab manual, part of the Microsoft official academic course in preparation for exam 70-680. In this exercise, we're going to boot the workstation with a Windows PE disk that we've created using the image.exe program to capture an image of the workstation's drive. The approximate time for this lab is about 30 minutes, so let's get started. We're going to go back to the NYC-CL1, and I'm still in my command prompt from the last exercise. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, click on my Start button, go into All Programs, Microsoft Windows, AIK, then we're going to right-click the deployment prompt again, so going right back to where I was. And we're going to copy pe.cmd. My fault. We are going to switch to the sysprep folder using the command prompt. So from here, cd slash windows slash system32 backslash sysprep. Then we're going to type in sysprep space forward slash generalize forward slash space forward slash OOBE. Enter. Okay, so I can't run it on this one. So I may need to redo this on the other machine. So let's go here and my CCL2. Media, disk drive, eject. Okay. Bring this over. Okay, so I'm on this other machine. And computer, C. May not be able to do on this one either because it has a Windows old. New folder. Oops. Downloads. Enter. Right click new folder win seven ENT new folder and seven AIK enter. Right click properties sharing. Advanced, share, permissions, full, OK, OK, and then close. All right, so I'm going to close this and
is this. Bring this over. Click on network. RWDC downloads Control C computer downloads Control V. I'll let this copy and I'll pause the video for a moment. Okay, go to network. And again, I only copied the actual software. I didn't download the other or copy over the other files. Go to network, RWDC, downloads, Windows 7 AIK, and then start CD, Windows AIK setup, and let this go through its thing. And then next. Next. Agree. Next. 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 Okay, I'm going to flip over to the CL1 and I'm going to copy the share folder. CL1 to CL2 while I'm waiting. Okay, I created another file or another machine called NYC-CL3. This is a fr this was a new image of Windows 7. And what I did is I created a shared folder which was then shared properties sharing, advanced sharing. So it was a shared all permissions. And then I went into the NYC-CL3, I'm sorry, 1. I went into the shared folder. And I did control A, control C. I navigated to the new machine to the shared folder and I control V to get all those files in there. And that took us up through um, exercise 4.3. So now what we're going to do is I've already installed the Windows AIK. Click on Windows All Programs, Windows AIK. Into the deployment, it's going to let me. Okay, so I'm on the CL3 and I'm going to go into all programs, Microsoft Windows AIK, and then right click on the deployment tools, run as administrator. Go ahead and enlarge these properties, fonts, 24, and then OK. There we go. Let's bring this up here. And now we're going to go ahead and do this copy command again. may not work because I didn't copy these. Oh, it did. Okay.
Okay, now I've got to burn the Win PEISO that we've created to a DVD. this so it's in the win PE is win PE folder close that go here computer win PE ISO Control C Go to the network Go to RWDC Downloads Control V And I'll minimize this and then go here. Network. I should be able to navigate to our WDC in that folder. RWDC01 and then the downloads and then that control C fresh disk in Press disk in, win PEISO, next, control V, burn disk image, burn. It's a relatively small file, so I can't imagine it's going to take very, very long. doing that I'm gonna go back to here start programs right click run as administrator so now we're gonna type in CD slash Windows slash system 32 backslash sysprep Okay, then we're going to start the computer using the PE boot disk, which is what I'm doing now.
media DVD. Capture E. I'll pause while we wait for it to finish running. And I'm booting from the DVD. Okay, this is what I booted up to. From here, we're going to type in net use. WDC01 slash downloads Toso slash administrator. Enter. One more time. Net use. Oops. PA. That's WRD. Yeah. Just did my up arrow. Enter. I'm going to type in the password. And the command completed successfully. Now we're going to run the image X. Okay, so the actual line is going to be e colon backslash image x dot exe space forward slash capture space d colon space z colon backslash nyc dash cl3 dot win, which is the name of this machine, and then space and then quotation marks nyc dash cl3 again and quotation marks. Now scanning the directory. Okay, I reran it this time with the uh, slash verify, and we are done. So now I'm going to 
dir z colon slash star dot whim. So what is the exact size of the image you file you created in bytes? It's a pretty big image file. Okay. So now we are going to restart the computer, remove the Windows BE PE boot disk. Um, if you're one of my students, this is where you would take your screenshot from. Okay, once you complete it, once we reboot, we may have to rejoin it back to Contoso. So this is the end of this video and the end of this exercise.